You say you want a revolution Well, you know Listen, when injustice becomes law Then resistance becomes our duty Let me repeat that when injustice becomes the law, resistance becomes our duty. Because I'm going to tell you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to this damn crazy house with me, your host, Kahit. We really, 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 really have a bad show going on here. I mean, we so knee deep in the cesspool of filth that um, if we, it, it's probably too late, but if we don't make one last attempt to save the normalcy of what most of us are accustomed to, whatever democracy looks like, no, no matter how unfair. Sometimes it presents itself. Uh, I know one thing. I've never been up under a real, real, real totalitarian environment and neither have the you not living in America. And I'm very afraid that at this point we coming closer and closer to that in America. So you say you want a revolution, well, you know. Listen, y'all. We got all of these code of conduct violations. I ain't even talking about in the Congress. I mean, or in the police department. It's everywhere. Injustice. Is everywhere. <laughs> and when injustice anywhere is it can't be tolerated, especially to this degree. Because once you have a Supreme Court that is totally, totally unethical and compromised. You really up shit creek without a paddle. And that's where we find ourselves right now. Nobody is really talking about this black ass Clarence Thomas. This self hating jungle bunny, spirit chucking Negro Clarence Thomas. I know, I know I shouldn't have said those things. But at some point, when you see this corrupt individual and all of these alleged, alleged negative things that he's involved with, and it's time for him to get his black ass up out of there. Something's got to be done, and he may have to be the first justice that gets expelled right away. Him and his, and then his crazy white genie, and then you start the domino effect, and then getting the rest of them corrupt bastards out of there. Because if we don't do something right now, this corruption is going too far. You got this dude. Forget about the Harlan Crow shit and all that stuff like that. This guy has at least attended at least two. Uh, donor meetings with those Koch brothers. Yeah, you heard me right. The Koch network. He all up in it. You know, Har Harlan Crow is one thing because, you know, of course, that's just somebody that's giving them perks and, and, and you know, probably helping. I mean, it's bad enough. Maybe a case comes through where you know, uh, the Harlan Corporation needs some favors 
Um, and they got a Supreme Court justice in their pocket. Okay, that's bad enough. Okay, that's that's bad enough. But I'm willing to take that. I'm willing to take that as opposed to a person being involved with a network that has a history, a history of breaking down fundamental organizations and institutions and reshaping the courts and then he don't disclose nothing this dude gotta go he is destabilizing America by his damn self it ain't just Donald damn Trump look at all these corrupt individuals that need to go, that need a timeout, and they can't. We can't afford them. Otherwise, it's a disaster on the horizon waiting to happen. Okay, and get ready, because it ain't gonna be like nothing you ever. You might think you done gone through some stuff, but it can only get worse if we continue to allow this shit to happen. There is no code of conduct. All these ethic lapses. I mean, and then, I mean, he do he 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 does everything. He amends forms, and, and nobody does nothing about it. Oh, you amended that? Oh, well, well, yeah, you know, I I I just made a few changes to it. What did you do? What? It's not important. Uh, I just made a few amendments. Um, on, on some disclosure forms. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just accepted a, a house from Harlan Crow or whatever. Huh? Yeah. Whatever whatever the madness is, he's got an excuse for it, he got a rhyme, and he got a reason. And we, the American people, are sitting on our heads because I know it's more good people. It's got to be. I truly believe that love is stronger than hate. Am I wrong? Am I freaking fracking wrong? Because Jenny Thomas and Claire Thomas, Jenny is a crackpot. Okay? I mean... She she's she's a uh a cult baby. She loves cults. So she right at home with uh trying to overthrow a government and all that kind of stuff because that's who she is. And that's who he married. And they walk around the White House like they untouchable. She looked like never mind. It's just all of these ethnic lapses, y'all. Then you got the little, I ain't going to say she rhymes with witch. Laura Burke, Bo Burke. Marjorie Taylor Greene, another one is a, a damn crackpot. But, 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 but Laura Bur Bo Burke, up in a theater, Allowing somebody to fill on her breasts in an auditorium, vaping and acting a damn fool. And these people are, are, are making legislation for us. We accept it is. Injustice becomes law. When it does, then resistance becomes your duty. We don't got no business putting up with this crazy shit like this. And then. Donald Trump lost, and every time you look in the rear view mirror, hell, you don't even got to look in the rear view mirror. You can look out the front mirror, and every time you turn the TV on, every time you go to a side, you see his punk ass. Enough is enough. Where are all the good people at? Where are all the real people at? Because we can't go on like this. 
And you know it. Every sane and rational person up under the sound of my voice know it. We can't go on like this. So what's our... Okay. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe we have a serious difference of opinion. I won't say I'm wrong. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Please. Like the video. Like it. Share the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Because this house is getting crazier and crazier. With no... With no, uh, with no bars, it's a mental house.